Okay. Uh, hi, this is Abhishek from Technic Media. Uh, we have already uh, uploaded some of the videos which are around Samsung Galaxy S tips and tricks, which is part one and part two. Today we are going to talk about all the features uh, which are there in Samsung Galaxy S2, uh, especially the settings and some other new features which are actually useful in Samsung Galaxy S2, which you may or may not find in some other Android phones. So let's go to the settings and then we will start telling you all the features which are good in Samsung Galaxy S2. So in the settings we see the first of all the wireless and network settings over here. So uh, the, the great thing in Samsung Galaxy S2 which you may not find in some other Android phone is this Wi-Fi direct uh, functionality. So basically what is this Wi-Fi direct functionality is all about is actually you can have a direct Wi-Fi based connection with any device, any laptop or any other Android phone with Samsung Galaxy S2 and then you can send the direct uh, you can send the data directly to that particular device through Wi-Fi. So the only thing which is uh, which needs to be there is both the devices should be on the same Wi-Fi network on which the Samsung like the Samsung Galaxy S2 should be connected to the same network as well as the device on which you want to send the files should be connected to the same network as well as you can send the data through bluetooth as well as you can connect uh, your samsung galaxy s2 with the usb mode uh, to your laptop and then uh, transfer the data so uh, this is something which is good the wi-fi direct functionality as well as when you go to the call settings uh, you have this particular thing called call rejection which is actually manage auto reject and accept mode so in this in this particular option you can actually specify uh, whether you want to uh, reject calls from a specific number and then you can send an automated message to those numbers that I am away and so basically you can uh, select this option either for all the numbers or for some blacklist numbers for some specific numbers a specific group of people or you can set this option as off so you can also like uh, specify a particular uh, number as well as add a message which should be sent to that number one whenever he calls your number and then uh, he will get an auto response that you are driving or you are busy you cannot take his call so this is something which is good uh, as well as uh, like the proximity um, all of the settings are like uh, okay the, you can also specify your video call image in case when you do a video call with some person here you can see uh, when you do a video call with the, with the person when you dial the number so basically the first thing which he will see on his screen is he will see the video call image which you can set it over here uh, before your camera broadcasting gets started it he will actually see or she will actually see the video call image which you have set okay apart from this uh, if we go to the sound thing we have all the option of making the phone silent mode vibration as well as making the phone you can turn off the notification ringtone as well as the audible touch tones you can change the screen lock sounds and uh, this thing which i really like is the haptic feedback i don't like this haptic feedback basically uh, whenever i use any of the android devices mostly it is turned on so how the, this haptic feedback is actually work is when you turn it on and when, when you press the soft keys over here the menu key so it will uh, make the phone vibrate so you will you will experience a kind of a web vibration a small vibration sensation in your hand when you press the soft keys i normally don't like it some of the people like it but i don't like it it is actually your own personal preference right? preference whether you want to turn this option on or off by default it will be turned on on your samsung galaxy s2 and you can turn it off in the sound section and uh, you will find this haptic feedback and you just need to tap it here to disable it okay uh, apart from this if we go to the location and security settings we see some some of the new options which are there in samsung galaxy s2 which is the, the first option is as usual like the set up the screen lock uh, you can actually set up the security on your samsung galaxy s2 either you can set a text password either you can set a pin number or either you can set a particular android pattern which you need to draw in order to unlock your phone or either you can unlock it uh, disable all the security setting and get it unlocked easily without any kind of security settings 
apart from this uh, you have this option which you can turn on which is the sim change alert whenever a new sim card is inserted in case your samsung galaxy s2 is stolen or lost and someone else find it and he puts his sim card into it he you will get a notification you will get an sms that uh, your uh, sim card in your uh, samsung galaxy s2 has been changed so you will get the number on your particular mobile phone number which you have set in this particular setting and then you will get to know who 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 is actually using your phone with his numbers because you will get the sms from his number directly apart from this you can turn on this remote functions as well in order to in case your phone is logged uh, in in case your phone is actually lost or stolen you can remotely wipe all the data from the device using this particular thing but if you turn this feature on you will need to create a samsung account which is actually free uh, you can any time create it after buying your samsung galaxy s2 so you just need to create a samsung galaxy s account uh, which uh, so all the data can be uh, synced with the samsung galaxy s account you will have the backup with your samsung galaxy s account in case you lost the phone you can get all the data back as well as you can remotely wipe off all the data on your device which is stolen or lost uh, apart from this uh, Oh, uh, let me go to some other settings. This is another good thing which is there in Samsung Galaxy S2 only, the motion sensitive feature, which I just told you in the in the previous video. So basically, mm, they, there are four types of motion controls with the turnover, tilt, panning, and double tap. You can do different different other things with these uh, all these options over here, and these these all these options are I found uh, very easy to use. As it is the most most used uh, uh, the most used feature, or you can say the option in this particular setting is the the tilt skin, the tilt thing, in which you just need to place your finger like this and zoom in, zoom out the image. This is the this is one of the option which I normally use most of the time on Samsung Galaxy S2. I found it very useful. Apart from this, we have the language and keyboard setting where you can change the so basically the samsung galaxy s2 has uh, two keyboards i just show you so just in case if you want to write a message i can show you the keyboard so this is the normal stock keyboard which you can see in case you want to change this keyboard just like you do in any other android phone you just need to place your finger like this here on 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 the input box and then it will give you the option of changing the input method if you can see it on the screen or not i'm not sure so here you can just need to chat, uh, uh, tap the input method and then you can change the keyboard from Samsung keyboard, Samsung stock keyboard to the swipe. So it supports swipe, you can change it to swipe in case you are not comfortable in typing with these particular keys. Uh, you can change it to swipe and then uh, swipe a word, type, type with the swipe in a fast and easy way, So which is good. Uh, so let's go to the setting again. Okay. So we are going to the settings again. So we have this dock settings as well. So you can also buy a separate dock from Samsung uh, for your Samsung Galaxy S2 on which you can place your device while you are, uh, in case you want to charge or sync data with that particular dock, you can do it. Apart from this, you have this language and keyboard settings where you can select the language on the phone. It supports a large number of languages here, as you can see, uh, from different countries. However, there is no support of Indic languages on Samsung Galaxy S2, which I find uh, quite annoying uh, because there are some uh, Hindi readers as well as well as some readers in Indic languages. As well as if you open up any web page which is uh, which is in any of the Indic language, it will not render properly. You won't be able to read the font. It will not be rendered on your Samsung Galaxy S2. We have already tested this, so it doesn't support Indic languages. Any of the Indic Indic languages right now. So hopefully, it will support um, uh, some Indic languages in future. So apart from this, uh, I think we are done. Uh, all of the settings are normal just like you see in any other Android phone So this is these are the some things which we wanted to highlight Samsung Galaxy S2 is a good phone a fast phone uh, a good uh, value for money kind of a device 
uh, in case you want to buy a phone uh, which should cost like uh, in between 30 to 35k this is a pretty good option however you have the option of purchasing an iphone 4 as well so make your choice right uh, try to have the hands on uh, on the phone before you buy it so these are some of the features which we like around samsung galaxy s2 uh, we hope you like the video uh, thanks for watching this is abhishek signing off from technics media uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube video channel in order to view all these videos and get the notification directly to your email box whenever we upload a new video. Thanks.